Hey everyone, welcome to the seventh video in our series on the reactions of chapter nine. Uh, so in the last video, we used uh, potassium permanganate to oxidize alkynes to diketones. In this video, we're also gonna be using potassium permanganate, but we're also gonna be using ozone, all right? So <clears throat> hopefully you recognize both of those. So since we're gonna be using potassium permanganate and ozone, hopefully that kind of tips you off to knowing that we're gonna be doing oxidative cleavage of triple bonds of alkynes, right? So oxidative cleavage of alkynes, all right? So with oxidative cleavage of alkenes, there was two ways to do it, all right? One way was uh, hot potassium permanganate, so hot KMNO4. The other way to do it was ozonolysis. In this case, there's still two ways to do it, hot potassium permanganate and ozonolysis. The difference being that these actually do the exact same thing, okay? So there's no difference between what these do anymore, all right? So uh, to, to demonstrate that, let's take a look at this alkyne. And then we're going to use potassium permanganate. So usually it's KMnO4 with some base and heat. And then as a second step, we throw on some acid. <clears throat> and again, just like with alk uh, alkenes, right? We just take the triple bond and cut it in half, right? So I'm gonna cut the triple bond in half there. It's going to look something like this if I cut it in half, right? And then where these triple bonds are, I just get rid of them and I add double bond O's there, all right? So I add a double bond O here and a double bond O here, all right? So now I've made this. Well, there's no hydrogens here to oxidize, but these are going to oxidize further into two carboxylic acids, okay? So no matter what, I'm always going to make two carboxylic acids. Okay, so these are my two products. This is one, two, three carbons. <clears throat> and this one as well is just two carbons. <clears throat> okay, so with alkenes, there was ways that I would not get carboxylic acid. Sometimes I would get ketones. Sometimes I would get aldehydes. In this case, I never get a ketone. I never get an aldehyde. I only get carboxylic acids, okay? I only get carboxylic acids. That's it, all right? So let's look at another example. Let's do a, let's do a phenyl ring in here. So we'll do this one. Okay, again, I cleave this double bond or this triple bond here, right? So then I'm going to have uh, two carbons and, or well, one carbon on the end of this phenyl ring, right? So draw that one carbon on the end of the phenyl ring. And then that turns into a carboxyl group. And then same thing here, I have a two carbon carboxyl group. And that's it, okay? So I just cleave that triple bond, all right? Move those analysis over a little bit here. <clears throat> so again, this is literally all I'm doing, okay? And I'm always gonna make two carboxylic acids. So let's take a look at this with ozonolysis. So you'll remember that with alkenes, ozonolysis, uh, did something different, right? It made aldehydes instead of carboxylic acids. In this case, with alkenes, it literally does nothing different, okay? It does not do anything different. So we use acetic acid typically as a second step with ozonolysis and alkynes. Uh, so again, it doesn't do anything different. So whatever I get with hot KMnO4, I also get with ozonolysis. So I get this 
and I also get this. So it is not different. Same thing here. If I do this fennel ring, then I get the same thing. These are the same products as I get with the other reaction. Okay, same thing, all right. The only thing to mention is that if I have a terminal alkyne, okay, just like if I have a terminal alkene, right? Remember I got CO2, right? Uh, in this case, I'm still going to get CO2. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so I cleave it here, right? So then that's going to leave me with a CH, which is going to get oxidized into CO2, and then I have two carbons. So I have my two carbon carboxyl group. And then since this is terminal, any terminal alkyne is also going to give me CO2. All right. So it's CO2 and water is what it's going to oxidize into, but uh, we're just worried about the CO2 here. All right. So I also get CO2. And again, if I do this with those analysis, uh, you guessed it, I get the same thing, right? nothing different whatsoever. So ozonolysis. And as a second step, we're going to throw in some acetic acid. And I get the exact same products, CO2 and ethanoic acid. All right. So that's it. Um, and me mechanism-wise, we're not going to worry about any mechanisms here. So this is all that we really have to say about this. Okay, so just understand that uh, these are going to be very similar as far as it goes with the uh, two different types of cleavage. All right, basically the same thing. All right, and it's similar to the way that it works in alkenes. All right, just uh, some slight differences. So hopefully this video was helpful. I appreciate you watching, and uh, I will see you in the next video.